What's up guys, myself Nadeel Das. In this video, we will make a stopwatch. So I created a project called Stopwatch 2 in Visual Studio. But first of all, I will give you some demonstration. I have created an app previously also. So, but this time we will create the app more cool and more uh, nice. So you can check this. It's working well. So we will create it. Okay, it's your C sharp fin form default form and I will resize it just and from the toolbox I will just drag drag and drop for my picture box and I will change the cr back color of the form to something like dark gray because I am using an image which have some col majorly color off black so i will choose my image location image and where is my image here so i will so i will select my image it's in desktop as you can check this uh, the image is in the description so you can also download it so over the properties of the picture box one i will set the size mode to stretch image to res so that whenever we resize the form or we resize the picture box the image automatically gets resized so i resize my form no resize my picture box now over the properties of the form i will change change the border style to none and i will use a transparency key for in hiding the black gray color in the background in the properties of the picture box i will choose the back color as web and transparent for hiding the background and now i will go back to my form and i will change my show maximize box to false and minimize box to be also to false and topmost to true and now i will save this stuff i will go back to my toolbox and just drag and drop few labels and buttons so one label and a few buttons so now go from the solution explorer just open your program dot cs and remove comment the line application dot enable visual styles this is for your button co background color and boom and for your label so pro over the properties of the label change the background color to white and you know, re and over, re again for the properties we will choose some fonts for it i am using a digital sand font that's also in the description so you can also download it from there because digital 7 is like leds and all that uh, used in some clocks and all that so I will change the font size to like 28 or something and I will change the label properties to time label properties ie the name to time and over the label text to label text I will choose it something like 0 hours 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds and zero milliseconds hit enter now you can check this your your stopwatch will look like this so now go, go back to your properties and set the text to start and copy this button and paste this button using control v for the reset button and for the stop button so now we will resize the oh sorry we will rename this buttons now it's for this reset button at the center reset and i will change the name also for more easiness i will change this to be reset and i will just change the name for the start of this one also to stop because it's for stopping the button and the name also to stop similarly for the start and start so now what we have to do is we have to change the back color of each button to something like dodger blue which is 
which is in the web slash dodger glue i think it's in the web ah, here it here's it so now similarly for the similarly for stop reset button and stop button also now <clears throat> so here is it now what we have to do is we select all three buttons using control and by clicking it and change the font size something like bold and 12 or 14 and i will resize all the buttons now it's looking cool so let's just auto hide my properties panel now from the toolbox i will just drag and drop for my timer which is which is the basic and the important thing for our stop watch waking so over the properties of that timer you must see that your timer interval should be 100 because 100 milliseconds is equal to 100 uh, one second now save this and just double click the timer and it will go to the timer tick event so first of all we will declare some some of the variables so int milliseconds is equal to 0 and int second is also equal to 0 similarly for the minutes minute is equal to 0 and int r is also to be 0 now go back to your timer tick event inside this we will write millisec plus plus and terminate it we will increment it by plus one so if millisec is equal equal to 100 it means one second so inside this we will write second plus plus terminate it and milliseconds to zero similarly we will use one more if So we will use one more if statement for the minute if second is equal equal to 60 then minute plus plus and second is equal to zero similarly we will use more for r also if minute is equal equal to 60 then r plus plus and minute becomes zero now we will use this all in our label so we call that timing timing oh i'm writing wrong, writing wrong time dot text is equal to r dot to string plus inside this we will use some columns now plus minute to strong is to string plus columns plus second to string plus one more string plus millisecond terminated millisecond to string all this two string are required for conversion now we will go back to our form one design and just double click the start button and inside this we will write timer timer one dot start and timer one dot start now go back just double click the stop button and over here we will write timer one dot stop and now go back to your reset and go back to your form one design and just double click the reset inside the reset we will write millisec is equal to zero r is equal to zero second is also equal to zero and minute is also equal to zero and now we will copy the label i.e the time state time text and all that and we will copy this all and paste it inside our reset click and now let's te test it for the first time it's been compiling so 
let's wait for a few minutes it's being compiled now it's being have compiled now just click on the start button it's working well now if i click stop button it's stop and when i click start it's again worked and let's check this reset button and it's also working so let's stop this use from our visual studio go back to our form properties and over there you will find something starting position just set it to center of the screen now save this go back to your form 1.cs and go to the start click event inside this we will change start dot back color is equal to color okay color dot red okay it's it's changing of course for changing the background color of the button so go back to your form one constructor inside the installize come below the installize component just you will write reset dot enabled is equal to false and terminate it now go back to your start click event and now we will type stop dot enabled is equal to oh sorry i have done a mistake in the below the installize component we have to use the stop button not the reset so just remove this reset or uh, rename this reset to stop dot enabled is equal to false now go back to your start dot click event and now go to the stop click event now change the stop click to stop dot back color is equal to color okay it's doing something wrong color dot red now we will write start now let's run this for the first time okay it's changing the color also but i want the color back so i will inside my stop click event i will write here start dot back color is equal to color dot dodger blue and from add my start but start click i will change my stop dot back color is equal to color color okay color dot dodger blue and save this run it again now it's working well and all done guys your stopwatch is completely created all the files source code and everything is in the description so you can download it from there thanks guys